Joining me now here at Citigroup's TMT conference in Pebble Beach, California for an exclusive is the CEO of NASDAQ, also the chair, Adina Friedman. Nice to see you it's here. It's great to see have you to too, travel Sarah. all the way to California to talk to you. <laughs> exactly. So we, we have seen these, these blockbuster debuts at the NASDAQ, but the price action after IPO day has stalled or lost momentum. Is that a, a worrisome signal about more companies going public? Well, we're, first of all, we are really proud of the fact that we have Arm, Instacart, and other great innovators coming to market. Really pleased to see that we're starting to see that investors have some demand for new issuances. They're ready to underwrite some risk. But as you said, the markets, however, since the IPOs have been a little bit more tumultuous. I think that that's really more of a macro issue more so than a company-specific issue. And as we look at going forward, we have, are having more serious conversations with companies as they're thinking to tap the public markets, but they're still a little bit trepidatious just based on the fact that there is still market volatility. But so far this year, we've won 85% of the IPOs and four <laughs> of the top five. I think that as we go into the second half or the, second, the fourth quarter, really, we could see some interesting companies come out, but we also would expect more companies to be planning for the first half of next year. And even got a convert of DoorDash from the... We did. Yeah, we actually shift. have had three companies uh, switch to NASDAQ in the second, in the third quarter. So we're really, really proud of that. Why? why what, what are you pitching and offering that's different? Well, I think that there are a few things. First, we do a lot to help companies succeed in the public markets. It's one thing to go public. It's another thing to be public. We have a whole range of IR, you know, investor relations, and sustainability solutions, as well as governance solutions that really help companies navigate the public markets. And that's part of the package that we offer our companies as they go public. And, and certainly when they switch for several years, they get those services as part of, the, uh, part of the offering. The second is just the bespoke marketing we do for our clients. We really partner with them to help them uh, amplify their brand and that's a big part of the, both the IPO and switch dis um, discussion. And then for DoorDash, they have the opportunity over time to uh, be welcomed into the NASDAQ 100. And so that also, is, the NASDAQ 100 is a big draw as well. Yeah, I mean, I was also, I was looking at some of your financial statements because you've managed to grow even in this period where there haven't been a lot of IPOs. It's been a very sleepy period. And, and double-digit growth in the anti-crimes unit, I thought a lot of people don't realize what you do. What, what is driving that business? We've done a lot to expand the business. We have this great core foundation as an exchange operator. But what over time, we've said, well, what more impact can we have to help companies navigate the markets, to help the financial institutions deal with the risk in the markets? So we've become a very scaled software provider in anti-financial crime, as well as in capital markets technology as we work with banks and brokers and that business anti-fin crime business that's growing about 18 percent that has over the you know the course of several quarters is it we're, because crime is growing uh, or well people, actually or companies I mean, are just getting it I think there are two things one we're definitely growing and expanding our business there's a um, and we're taking share from others and we're, we're up you know we're taking out some internal build from the big banks um, but at the same time I think that there's also the fact that fraud activity is growing um, and they're changed you know people are changing their behaviors they're they're, they're, the banks are more concerned about it. Money laundering is becoming a bigger and bigger problem for them. It's about a $2 trillion issue in terms of the amount of money that's laundered through the financial system globally. And our anti-financial crime technology is very advanced. We use cloud technology. We bring the data together. We use um, AI algorithms to really root out criminal behaviors. And so we are able to show the banks that we have a more effective solution. Fewer false positives, more fraud or criminal behavior found than what they're using today. And I think that that's what's really the winning proposition. So